This is the new free unlockable mastery operator for Warzone and Modern Warfare 3, and this might be the easiest and fastest event skin we've ever gotten. I'm not even joking. If you're playing the right mode, this skin only takes about two games to unlock. So in this video, we're gonna break down the entire event, show you all the modes you can grind in, including the single fastest method. Then we're gonna take all the rewards in game and review them. That way you can decide if grinding these are worth your time or not. When you first launch the game, you wanna go to event, then go to horde hunt. At the time of recording this, there's only 11 days left in this event, meaning if you don't get these items within that time period you'll more than likely never be able to get them again so if you do plan on getting these you might want to do it sooner than later there are four different categories that you grind for in this event the first one being zombie bones these are just different consumables for the zombie mode so if you don't play zombies these aren't really going to help you all of these items are pretty easy to grind out in the zombie mode to begin with so this is just kind of a bonus part of the event the other three are the ones you definitely want to do there are armored zombie skulls this is what they look like when you find them in game you need 600 of those then you'll get the tiny scream charms then there's the hellhound skulls you need 300 of these once you complete that you'll get the dogs of hell calling card then there are the mimic skulls and this is the one that people seem to struggle with the most but they're actually the easiest out of all of them once you get 200 of these you'll unlock the cursed ammo which confuses some people but we'll explain exactly what this is when we go to review all the items once you complete all three of these challenges here not including this one you don't need that one you just need these three you'll unlock the kill shot mastery operator skin for swagger now when it comes to farming these different bones and skulls there's three different modes you can play multiplayer zombies in warzone and one of these are just by far better than the others in multiplayer you have to play horde point this is going to spawn different zombies and bosses when you kill them you pick up their skulls the issue with this mode is getting the mimic skulls takes a while to get so i don't recommend playing mp then we've got the zombies mode getting most of the skulls are pretty easy but you do run into an issue with the mimics once again there's no easy way to infinitely spawn mimics and zombies and pretty much everyone else in the game are going to be going for the mimics so if you go to infested strongholds and other places that spawn mimics it's pretty likely that they're already going to be gone by the time you get there so that only leaves one mode left that being Warzone, and luckily enough, Warzone's free. So for the method we're going to show in this video, you don't even have to own Modern Warfare 3 to do this. Now, in Warzone, you could technically do this in any one of the playlists, but by far the fastest is going to be Plunder. Now, the strategy you want to use in Plunder is very simple. You want to loot your ass off. Anything you can open, you want to open it, whether it be a weapon case, a medicine cabinet, a mirror, a weapon locker, a cache, a duffel bag. Every single time you open one of these, they're going to drop a pile of bones, and that pile of bones is random. You can get the normal bones bones the hellhound skulls the armored zombies and yes even the mimic skulls and you're not just going to get one of these bones you're going to get seven of them so if you get a mimic drop that is seven mimic skulls and these are shared throughout your entire team so if you pick up a stack of these everyone else on your team is going to get seven as well and vice versa if one of your friends picks up a stack of mimic bones you're also going to get seven as well so you just want to loot everything possible as fast as you can i found the best place to drop while doing this is the seaport district if you go here on the map there's a bunch of little hotels on the bottom floor of these hotels there's multiple weapon cases multiple med cabinets sometimes there's going to be mirrors there's also duffel bags and just going on the bottom floor of each one of these hotels going to each one until you clear all of them you're going to get about 80 mimic skulls just from doing this one little area that's going to take about eight minutes and if you want you could just back out load back in and keep looting this bottom area the issue is as more people find out about this area it's going to be harder and harder to loot these hotels now obviously since all of the bones and skulls picked up are shared throughout an entire team the most efficient way to do this is to get a squad of four have everyone go to a different area and loot as much as they can but even if you're just a solo player playing by yourself this is still going to be a really fast method and much faster than playing multiplayer our zombies but if you are a solo player looking for more people to play with i am going to leave my discord link down below which is a great place to find other players looking to grind anything cod related whether it be this event something in multiplayer zombies our war zone tons of people always looking to grind out and if you want to speed up this event a little bit check out the discord link in the description down below and when i say this method's fast i'm not kidding i've tried this on two different accounts that had zero mimic skulls before we started and after the first game they both had over 120 total mimic skulls and one of these wasn't even even a quads it was a duo so it wasn't max efficiency if we were playing that with four different people we probably could have got 150 mimic skulls in a single game now let's quickly go over all the different rewards you unlock and see what they look like in game we're not going to go over any of the base zombie unlocks that you get for collecting the normal bones because these are just zombie consumables and you already know what these do for the actual new unlocks the first one you get for collecting 600 armored zombie skulls this being the tiny screams charm this is what it looks like in game 
kind of cool nothing i'm probably ever going to use though then when you collect 300 hellhound skulls you're going to get the dogs of hell calling card looks kind of cool but at the end of the day it's a calling card it is zombie theme but personally i'm probably never going to use this then for getting the 200 mimic skulls we got an item that confused a lot of people this being the cursed ammo which is actually a skin for the ammo box field upgrade so now if we go in game and throw out our ammo box it should have the custom skin on it and for the most part it kind of just looks like a normal ammo box it's got a fancy design at the top but if you look at the bottom, it's now more flesh-like and it's got some glowing eyes on it. A lot of people were upset with this because I thought this was going to be some sort of tracers or some sort of new type of ammo box, not just a normal ammo box skin. Personally, I kind of like it just because if this wasn't an ammo box skin, this probably would have been an emblem, a sticker, or a loading screen. And I would way rather have a field upgrade or lethal skin than another calling card emblem or that junk because I never end up using the emblems or the stickers that we get. And it might be an unpopular opinion, but in future events, I hope we see more things like this in place of the emblem stickers and loading screens because I'll actually use this. Every time I use an ammo box now, I'm going to use this skin. Whereas if they gave me a loading screen or a sticker in place of this, I would have never used it, even not even once, N not even a single time. And finally, for the mass reward, we've got the kill shot operator skin for swagger. Here's the skin in game. It's got a red zombies theme to it. He's got a glass mask on that's cracked and got a hole in it and you can actually see one of his eyes through the hole in the mask that's probably the most interesting part about this skin it's a pretty good looking skin is it the best skin in the game no but for a free event skin you can unlock in about 40 minutes i think it's worth doing and i think it's a pretty decent reward but with that guys i'm gonna wrap this up if you want to see more videos like this in the future make sure to unlock the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day peace lego unlocked he's lego unlocked Going to unlock all these camels.